Alright guys, time to take a tour. So this is the hotel I'm staying in. Walked in. Hotel seemed to be brand new, like they just built it. I'm out here in uh, Kildare, North Dakota. It's the hotel I'm staying in, but I'm not actually working in Kildare. If y'all can see the sign right there. I'm in uh, Hotel Dakota. That's what it's called, Hotel Dakota. First thing I noticed when I got down here, I see some hopper bottoms. I don't know what they hauling. I'm assuming frack sand. It's an old school, a lot of white smoke from the blowers turbo, but he's still going with it. It's a truck stop right here in Kill Deer. It's the first thing I seen. It's where everybody's sleeping at. It's a little roundabout. See if I can kind of go over here. It's so dark around here. Let's see if I can find the entrance. So like I said, first thing I see is these hoppers. Man, I don't know if I just passed the entrance or what. Got a water tanker right there. I think this is the entrance right here. So if you're coming to North Dakota, what you need to know is what I would advise if you do come and you driving because you can't see shit at all you don't know if you in the fucking grass or what the fuck <laughs> I would advise if you do come to uh come come during the daytime come during the daytime because at night you can't see nothing that's what I'd be doing right there. Try out some water. You see, you got the push axle. Peterbilt. Uh, I don't even know if this place is open. Yeah, they open. I'm going to go in here and grab a drink or something for the night. Give me a second. All right, we're back. So another thing you need to know is there is no fast food, so... <coughs> it's actually raining right now. It's no fast food, so you got to cook everything in the truck. Or you can go in a truck stop like this. and I mean, they got drinks, you know, drinks, chips, but no actual food. So you're going to have to become a shelf out here, baby. So make sure you get your ass around. Make sure when you go through North Dakota, you got plenty of fuel, baby. There's no gas stations unless you get into a big town. But yeah, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be driving that, that Peterbilt with the water tanker. I'm going around back. I don't know if it's Etsy back here, but I seen some uh, trucks back here sleeping. No, I don't think it's no Etsy. My man got a uh, pneumatic right there. It's tri axle pneumatic though. Going the wrong way though. There was another pneumatic over there, but I didn't see him. But so far, I've seen hopper bottoms, water tankers, and that uh, some tri axle pneumatics. Everybody, well, everybody's tri axle. So let's get another look at that water tanker again. Peter built. Got the push axle, three axle trailer situation. So that's what we'll be driving. Like I said, it's so dark down here. Hard to tell where I'm going. Now, I made the mistake of coming to North Dakota through the nighttime. I never drove a truck through North Dakota. I didn't realize there is no, uh, when you're on the interstate, it's pitch black. They, oh, see, in the middle of the road. There ain't no, um, street lights, or anything like that on the interstate. So it's best that you follow somebody, get behind a truck or something where you can stay behind the tail lights so you can see. I go another one. He got four axles. 
Y'all see my man right there. He got three axles on the truck, four axles on the water tank. And then we took a look at that. That's that 200 barrel water tank right there. So, as y'all can clearly see, so far what I'm noticing is none of my trucks are equipped to, equipped to run up here. I don't have a, I don't have three axles and I don't have a pusher axle. So, and I don't have my pneumatic ain't got three axles on it. So that's what I'm seeing so far. First time in life in North Dakota. As far as the uh, the weather go, uh, it's cold outside, but it's not really affecting me because of the clothes I got on. So it's like 30, 36 degrees with my, my car, say. So this particular hotel, although it's, it's nice, it's brand new, uh, it's clean on the inside, but the rooms are real tiny. It's almost like they were just built for the oil field workers. But I'm only here until the morning. It's actually kind of empty. As far as the uh, car parking go. One second. Actually back up. Everybody got a damn pickup truck. Except Andrew. I'm the only fool out here with a challenger. <laughs> Everybody else got them a... Uh, pickup truck or something. Well, he got a car, so I guess I ain't alone. Alright, so orientation is at, I believe, 8.30 in the morning. It's the time right now. It's 9.43. 36 degrees outside. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But like I was saying, turn this car off. I know that sound be getting on y'all nerves. So like I was saying, if you're driving in North Dakota, I would advise you, if you've never been through North Dakota, come through North Dakota during the daytime so you can see the road. Because I can't see the interstate whatsoever. And a lot of these cars on the interstate are going 90 to 100 miles an hour. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to drive that fast to keep up behind somebody's tail light so you can see where you're going. <coughs> so, other than that, like I said, I'm right now I'm in Kildeer, North Dakota. This is just where I'm staying for the night because I just got off the interstate down there in, um, I think it's Bis Bismarck, North Dakota or something like that. And I had turned up North Dakota 22, which is just, once you get out of that town, it's pitch black. So I just stopped right here and killed deer before I just, I just wait till daytime before I continue on. But so far, so good. You know, I didn't see the water tank or what that situation looked like. I didn't see the new maddots. You know, I haven't talked to no truck drivers or anything yet. But... This is where we at so far. I made it. No car issues. Car didn't have any issues. No snow. No ice. Um, the weather's fine. It's just a little bit of sprinkling. It just started. So that's your update. If I can think of anything else, I'll come back with y'all tomorrow. Give you a better update. But first time in uh, North Dakota. I'm already checked into the room. Go in here, charge everything up, charge my camera, charge my phone. Uh, so far, AT&T has worked the entire time I've been in North Dakota so far. As far as the interstate and me getting to where I'm at right now, I haven't lost any cell phone service. But uh, that's just, you know, I don't know about where I'm going, though. So I see a lot of... Okay, a lot of water tickets come through here. Okay, so so that particular water tanker, he only had um he just had a regular looks like a regular Volvo with a triads with trailer, so maybe we may be in luck. Maybe it's just he hauled less weight than everybody else. We got to figure all that out. I'll catch y'all later.